Hello appraisers, in this Spark Spotlight video we're going to be covering how to see where your comments are coming from and how to customize them. So let's go ahead and start with how to see where they're coming from. So essentially you can see when I hover over a particular comment, right now I'm looking at the seller concession comment, uh, you can see that it's coming from where it's highlighting in orange, it's kind of pulsing up there in orange, the seller paid financial assistance prevalent row of the 1004MC. Obviously those these two comments go together, just like the foreclosure comment goes with the foreclosure line. You can see that that's related. Um, and then, but down here, when I hover over on the summary comment over this, you can see it's highlighting the median comparable sale price row of the 1004 MC, because this comment is coming from there. The next comment is coming from the housing supply row of the 1004 MC, and the next comment's coming from the sales days on market row. Uh, but I can customize all that. I can decide what comments going where, and I can also customize the individual comments. But uh, so you can just see essentially that's how you see where each comment is coming from. And you know, okay, this is coming from the median comparable sale price row. I can just click right up here, and then I can go in and further customize that comment. But to make it a little easier on you, all you really have to do is click on the comment itself, and it will take you right there. So let's say. I want to click on the seller concession comment. It takes me right to the seller concession row analysis of Spark. And I can see the analyses that are going on here. We have four different ones going on. And we call these cards. And e there's two cards in this widget, and there's two cards in this widget. Now, if I hover over the comment, it will highlight in orange the widget that's applicable and also the card that's applicable. So this right here is the card that's being used to build or I should say drive this comment right here. So, okay, again, if I wanted to, all I need to do is I need, is click on this comment and it flips over the related card. And so I can go ahead and get into customizing both the analysis and the comment itself. I'm gonna go ahead and hit go back. And it's the same thing. So if I had, if I had a comment over here, let's just go ahead and turn on a comment there. You can see now there's two comments going into the seller concession comment. And when I hover over this one, it highlights that card down in the bottom right orange. When I hover over this one, it highlights uh, that card in the in the left orange. Uh, okay, so I think you get the idea there. Let's go ahead and turn this one back off. Now, let's get into customizing the comments. So as far as customizing comments, uh, I'm just going to use this as an example because I had someone, an appraiser, ask me about this yesterday. So they didn't like my comment here. Basically, the default comment says it's analyzing 68 properties over the past 12 months. 66% of the sales had seller concessions, and there was a change of negative 1% per month over the year. Uh, and that tells you right here over the past year, the past 12 months. So but he didn't like this comment, so he wanted to change it. So um, essentially, this is what he wanted. He wanted to say how many, cons uh, the median, uh, dollars of concessions for the past year and then he wanted it broken apart by quarter so for this quarter there was x amount of dollars was the median and then for the next quarter and so on to, to display for the four quarters and he also wanted the low and high so uh, this is essentially how you would do that so he wanted it broken apart by quarters so i need to click on scatter plot and change that to a quarterly analysis so i click on quarter and so that's what he wanted and then now you just click on the comment to further customize it so i'm going to click on that comment now, he wanted it to be broken down by how much actual concession dollar amount there was. Uh, so I'm going to click on the, the Analyze here and change that to Median Contribution Dollars. Uh, not percent, but dollars is what he was requesting. So you click on Median Contribution Dollars, and you can see the comment updates there. Now, I can further customize by checking these boxes down here where it says Including Comments. So he wanted the low and high and he wanted the period. And so you can see what that does here. It changes to say a quarterly analysis was performed on 68 competing properties over the past 12 months. The sales within this group had seller concessions, uh, with seller concessions had a median seller contribution of 4750 with a low of 500 and a high of 7170. Quarterly, the median seller contribution was reported as oldest to most recent, 5,080, 4,750, 4,000, 4,575. And then last, the analysis based on data group by quarter shows a change of negative 1.1% a month. So that's how he wanted it to look. And you can see if you like the comment but you don't need the quarterly breakdown, you can just get rid of periods. That gets rid of these period, uh, the period analysis in your comments. So you can see now it got rid of those four quarters that it showed. It just shows you the low and high. Again, if you don't want the low and high, 
you just get the total, which is the median uh, seller contribution for this whole set of data um, is 47.50, and then you get the regression result, which is right here. And again, I can turn that off as well. Uh, and that's it. And then when you're all set, you hit go back. And if you like how you have it, you just hit save layout. And then in the future, you don't have to customize that anymore. It'll remember how you like to build your comments and you are set. Okay. Thanks everybody for watching.